Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Metal Fingers. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Fujifilm's new film, the questions behind it, and some of the mystery behind it. So, let's get right into it. Fujifilm recently announced a, quote, brand new Fuji 400 speed film with quite a soft launch, one day replacing their Superior 400 with their new Fuji 400 film. Now, why would Fuji not want to market this film to the masses with promo videos, influencer giveaways, etc, etc? In my mind, it's because this isn't a new film at all and Fuji doesn't actually want too much light to be shown on this film. Now let's jump back in time last year when Fuji announced their new 200 speed film and consumers quickly realized that it wasn't exactly what they had thought it was and shared a lot of similarities with Gold 200. In fact, according to some sleuthing from a Reddit user, when comparing the day sheets of the two films, they were basically identical. Thus, many film shooters, myself included, have pretty much concluded that the Fuji 200 speed film is just rebranded Kodak film. Now, just a few weeks ago, Fujifilm put out a press release stating that they're having difficulties with sourcing raw materials needed to create their film stocks. Thus, they'd be pausing film production and sales in Japan for the time being. Now, doesn't the timing seem quite odd for Fuji to releasing this new film while they can't actually get any raw materials for their current or older films? It certainly seems that they could be nudging their old friend Kodak to create some with their new branding, as it seems they did with their 200 speed film. On top of all of this, the most determining factor that really links it all and ties it together is on the packaging of the new film itself. On the old Superior package, it clearly states that it's made in Japan. Now, on the newer package, it says made in USA, and as we know, Kodak is the only film manufacturer with the resources necessary to create said film stocks at this amount. Now, I obviously don't know what this 400 speed film is. It could be Ultramax 400, but until there are actual data sheets to compare, it's tough to tell exactly without just guessing or spitballing in my opinion. So what does that mean for us as consumers? Well, it certainly seems that Superior 400 is lost to the wayside and potentially gone forever and is a net loss as there's now one less film stock available. Personally, because of the price point over the last six months to a year, I've really thought Superior was one of the best, cheapest film stocks you could buy and truthfully, I'll be really sad to see it gone. Now, if I want to look at it slightly more, I guess, optimistically, I guess you could say. If Fuji doesn't want to leave the game, they can do what it appears to be that they're doing and just sell their branding to Kodak so that Kodak can make these film stocks for Fuji and distribute them worldwide. At the very least, this means Fuji is probably coining out a good amount of money to Kodak to do this for them. And Kodak obviously needs the money with all the price hikes and craziness over the last couple months. So maybe this is a necessary evil, so to speak, for the long haul success of film over the next decade or so. However, that being said, Kodak could be looking at a potential monopoly, and we could be one failed factory in Rochester away from complete film disaster. So what do you guys think? I'm always curious to hear your opinions down in the comments below as there are things that you guys think of that never even cross my mind when making the video. All this news in the past couple months definitely makes me very weary of film for the future and honestly I'm considering looking at picking up a bunch of film this summer uh, for the foreseeable future as price increases continue to happen. Otherwise let me know what you think about this news in the comments below. Do you think it's good news for film as a whole or do you think Fujifilm's actions in the last couple months um, is a net loss, especially obviously losing Superior. Let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, until the next video, guys, peace out, stay safe, keep shooting, and until the next one, I'll talk to you later. Adios.